Lately, Google has been releasing a huge number of really great keyword resources. And one of them is this Google search-based keyword tool that they've made widely available to people in the last couple of weeks. Now, there's a couple of really cool ways to use this search-based keyword tool, but the way that I want to concentrate on is using it for long-tail keywords. So what's a long-tail keyword? Well, let's use trout fishing as, as an example, and I've typed it in here. Let's hit Find Keywords. What long-tail keywords are? They're the keywords that are, well, I guess one way to explain it is, keywords that are longer than the original keyword. So essentially, most searches come in for the shorter version of a keyword. So here we see trout fishing has 606, uh, sorry, 6,600 monthly searches uh, for that word, for the, for the words trout fishing. But as we start adding more and more words to the length of the keyword and become more and more specific, we start to see that the traffic for those keywords drops and drops. Now, in this example, all of the keywords have the words trout and fishing in them. Now, the reason this is really interesting for Market Samurai users is because one of the things that Market Samurai has been very weak at is finding long tail keywords. These keywords that contain the words trout fishing, like trout fishing tips, lake trout fishing, trout fishing lures, North Carolina trout fishing, all of these longer tail keywords that all contain the same words. Because those keywords are really good for blog post ideas or tagging of blog posts or uh, finding out or for yeah for researching uh, what your market is about what they want and how to give them what they want market samurai has been really good at finding groups of relevant keywords so it, you type in trout fishing and it'll find fly fishing and it'll find bass fishing and it'll group them together and say here's a market uh, that's around the trout fishing market it's got a huge amount of traffic, but it won't give you the long tail. So one of the reasons this new Google search-based keyword tool is really valuable is that it does give you the long tail. And it's actually something that we've included in Market Samurai, and we've had it in there for a couple of weeks now. If you are in the keyword generation area of Market Samurai, you can now click this Google search keywords uh, tick box here, and that will give you the uh, well, up to 800 of the most searched long tail keywords that relate to your original keyword. So if we start with trout fishing and let's get rid of the Google synonym tool there and hit generate, we will get up to 800, in this case 177 additional long tail keywords that relate to the keyword trout fishing. So let's type in this to get our keyword traffic data updated. Here we go, it's just uh, updating right now. Now this is a really valuable resource. Oh, I'll undo this filter. Really valuable resource, because what the long tail gives us is, uh, well, first of all, it doesn't have the same levels of traffic, but what it also doesn't have is the same uh, levels of competition. The further you go down into more specific, longer keywords, the less competition you find. So you can start off with a keyword like mortgages or credit cards or something like that that's got a huge amount of competition and then dig down into the long tail using this new keyword generation tool and find keywords that have lower and lower levels of competition but still might have good levels of traffic. You can also use long tail keywords for, as I think I mentioned earlier in this video, tagging of blog posts or tagging of videos and adding additional relevance to your site or even putting them in, into the content so that you can pick up more searches so that you're yeah, increasing the number of keywords that are relevant to your site and you pick up more traffic in your market. Makes sense. So this new Google search-based keyword tool that's inside your Generate Keywords uh, page now, this is a really handy source of additional keywords and certainly something that I've been using the last couple of weeks and I recommend that you use. Now, in the next couple of videos, I'm going to show you some additional strategies for using this search-based keyword tool and how to really get some real kick out of it, in addition to finding these lower competition keywords and these long tail keywords. So hopefully you've enjoyed this and hopefully you've taken away a couple of, uh, a couple of cool things to do. Open up Market Samurai, try it out in your market, 
have a look at what the 800 most frequently searched long tail keywords are in your market that relate to your, your starting keyword. And hopefully there's a couple in there that provide opportunities to you, uh, for you so that you can start raking in more traffic for your, for your own website now. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next two videos where I'll show you some really cool strategies for using this Google search based keyword tool.